Hey guys, what's going on? This is Lin here with iOS Jailbreak 7 and today I've got some really exciting news for you guys. Winterboard has been updated to support iOS 7 as well as all the 64-bit devices. So the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, iPad Mini 2 with Retina display and everything. And as you can see, I do have a theme on my screen right now. So that is not the iOS 7 default if you didn't notice yet. So let's just open up Winterboard and have a look at which themes I've got. So as you can see everything pretty much looks the same but it does look like iOS 7 rather than the iOS 6 look and if you just go into select themes you can pretty much select uh, from the themes you have installed or the themes that come pre-installed with Winterboard and that's only the no undocked icon labels. Alright guys as you can see I do have the Jack U Classic theme enabled and I also do have the flat 7 icons so let's try uh, this one and then just hit the home button and our device should respring straight away. Alright guys, as you can see my device has respringed and if I just slide to unlock, type in my passcode and as you can see I do have the new theme which does look pretty nice and it does look a lot like iOS 7 as well. You might actually like this more than the default iOS theme. So let's just open up Cydia and take a look at what you have to do to get Winterboard. Alright guys, once CD updates everything, all you have to do is just go into the changes section and there you should be able to see an update for CD Substrate if you have that installed but if not just be sure to search for it and install it and for Winterboard you probably won't have it installed already so all you have to do is just search for it and as you can see I do have it installed obviously I need to update it uh, which just came out probably just a couple of minutes back and as you can see it does say ARM64 compatible as of 0 0.9.2 3912 and as you can see the latest version is 3914 so I will be updating it straight away and as you can see wallpaper whether PNG, HTML or any of the other crazy formats that I should have never added to Winterboard is not currently supported on iOS 7 so I guess a lot of the themes that you'd probably want to install with Winterboard won't actually work with iOS 7 but a couple of themes that I do have uh, working for iOS 7 are Jacku and Flat Icon 7. I will be leaving all the names down below in the description as well as some of the other ones that I find out later on. So let me just update Winterboard right now. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you did enjoy this and if you did like the news of Winterboard being released, please give this video a thumbs up as it does help me out a ton. And also be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see my top 5, top 10 or whatever Winterboard themes as well as you know a lot of the other tweak reviews that I do make daily. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.